we don't have to worry about using the pipe wrench or anything anymore and we're just able to get this in there and get it tightened in place hey folks that fix it guy here and a little while back my friend actually installed this water heater himself i helped him out over video chat a little bit and he ended up hooking it up so today i'm going to show you another little thing that we had talked about as far as maintenance goes so come along let's get to fixing So this right here, three quarter inch lead free brass ball valve. This is solid brass. This is a full port ball valve, right? Designed for water heater drain use, okay? Cheap plastic, not a big fan. You want something that's gonna work and really help to maintain, get some sediment out. These full port ball valves will totally do that. I mean, it's a good size. You can see that's rolling right through there. You'll be able to get a lot of sediment out. You live in a place that's hard water, man, I would want one of these. If you're gonna get a new water heater installed by somebody and you look at this, it has a plastic ball valve. Well, tell them, you know what? I want one of these. I want a full port ball valve. This makes it really easy to get sediment out and drain, right? If you had to stick a hanger or something up in there to swish it around to get it to drain a little bit, well, this is a lot easier than trying to do it with the plastic one. And so this is what we're going to be installing today. Okay, so this right here is what we're talking about. This is the drain port. This is plastic. I don't really understand why they put the drain port in plastic, but we're going to be swapping out. We're going to put some brass in here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is locate your shutoff valve. You're gonna to wanna to turn the water off for this, right? Mm -hmm. And now if you do this, actually while you're changing out your water heater, well then it's already gonna be shut off, but you wanna make sure that your water is shut off, okay? So then we're just gonna to come to the gas valve. We're actually gonna take this and we're gonna turn it to pilot, okay? And that is going to keep this, it's gonna keep the pilot light lit, but it's gonna ensure that we don't have to shut the gas off. We don't have to do any of that other stuff, right? Because we're not doing anything that is gonna require shutting the gas off to this. All right, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna to come to here. We're going to hook up the hose, get this all taken care of. Make sure you've got the other end of this hose somewhere where it can drain good. You want to just grab a flat tip screwdriver down in here and just open it up. You'll hear the water start coming out. Get that all the way open. Okay, so you might want to put a bucket or some kind of a pan down below your temperature and pressure relief line just so you don't get water everywhere. All right, when you turn that on, you're definitely going to get some water. So then you want to come up here to the pressure relief valve. This is something you should be checking at least once a year anyway. You always just want to come and just give it a quick pop. And with this, we're actually going to just open it up and let this thing start draining. You'll hear it start bubbling and gurgling and it should be draining out the other end of the hose. Okay, so we're here at the shower and you can see that the water heater is draining out into the shower. So we'll give this some time. And then once this is done, we'll change that valve. So another thing you can do is loosen one of these nuts. You just want more air. The more air you can get in the tank, the faster it's gonna drain, okay? So we'll just take this and just, so we'll just take a pair of channel locks. We're not gonna have to take this the whole way off, but we're just gonna loosen it up. I already know there's new washers in here because he just installed this. Okay, so the very first thing that I wanna do once this is drained is go ahead and tighten this back up. Remember, we loosen that, that's gonna help with the drainage. And just get this hooked up. Boom, okay. Now, if this didn't have a new seal, I probably wouldn't have done that without putting a new seal in. Since I know they're brand new, good to go. Okay, and so we're just gonna come right down the water heater. We're gonna grab that temperature pressure relief valve and just give that a couple pops, leave it closed. Should be good to go. Go ahead, we're gonna disconnect our hose. It is a little bit warm, so take heed of that. You did just drain out a bunch of hot water. 
So I ended up popping the cover off just to get this in there a little bit more because this is starting to want to go. It's just about completely drained and it just doesn't want to come out regular anymore. So we are getting ready to hook this up. Okay, so while as that is draining, we're gonna prepare our other stuff, right? So we've got our new ball valve here. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take some of this Teflon. This is, this is a little bit thicker of a Teflon, this gray Teflon. Stuff works pretty well though. And we're just gonna go ahead. I like to poke that hole through there. I like to be able to put my finger through that, right? When I wrap. And so you're just gonna do the same thing, righty tighty, lefty loosey. If you're holding this on there, a good three wraps will do it. You can always go a little bit more, but usually three is a pretty good standard. Okay. And I like to work it in. You know, use the fingernail, get this all hooked up, put in place. You can see that it's in the threads. My friend had some of this, uh, T plus two, which is some pipe thread sealant. All right, we will, oh, well, we're gonna try to get it out of there. Could you go get me a toothpick, Jet? That would be great. And we can see this has completely stopped, which is awesome. My dad doesn't have a toothpick right now, but... Oh, that's perfect. This is going to be awesome. Okay. So, my assistant, Jet, went and grabbed me something that I can open this up a little bit more. I just couldn't actually get this to come out. So, we're going to just get that a little bit more wide open. Okay. Set this down right here. And we will apply some thread sealant to this, All right? I like to go the whole way around and just get it kind of worked into the threads, all right? You might get a little messy with this stuff, but it's all right. You buy a bigger thing, it comes with a brush in the can. Um, you know, I use Mega Lock usually, but don't have any at the moment. That's all right. I should have traveled with my tools. Next time I know a little bit better. But you can just take this, go right around the finger, hooked up, and this is going to be good to go. We are all set up. Like I said before, this is done draining, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop that out. We're going to see if we can get it with these bad boys. Let me try to get right here, Jed. Oh man, okay. Okay, let's try it with the pipe wrench. Too big. Okay. You doing okay? I am doing okay. I so I tried the channel locks. I tried a pipe wrench. I couldn't get it. I actually went and I bought a new tool. All right. So this is a self-adjusting pipe wrench by Crescent. And it's really thin. I mean, you could see this compared to this, like a lot thinner. So we're gonna give this a shot. I got a cheater pipe and we're gonna try to get this off. A little bit harder than I ever thought it was going to be. So, let's just get this back there. Get it back where I know we can grab it. Okay, that's on there, grab good. Uh, let me see here, let's just do that. We'll slide a cheater bar on top of that. Get it down as far as I can. And then we'll hopefully get this out. 
there we go that's what it needed to do so we're able to finally get that loose now right so now we're just able to to get this on there it says it's self-adjusting let's try that again Funny, I needed one tool to get it started, and then another tool to do the job. There we go. Okay. Okay. Get that bad boy popped on there. Just kind of do that quick little changeover. This is definitely down a little bit further, being a full port ball valve. We're gonna just let this drain down a little bit more and then I'm gonna put this cover back on. Okay, just pop this right here, pop that on there, pop that back in there. Super quick, get that back to rolling. If you zoom in here, right, we've got these ridges. We're able to actually just put a crescent wrench on this and we're able to spin that way. So now we don't have to worry about using a pipe wrench or anything anymore. And we're just able to get this in there and get it tightened in place. Make sure that this can close, right? It's not gonna close right there. So we're gonna come off just at a little angle till we get it to close. It's gonna be able to close right there, perfect. And that's gonna work out awesome. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fill this bad boy back up. Okay, and so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open our water valve again. And we're gonna go ahead, we're just gonna crack that a little bit. We're gonna get this bad boy filling up. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up the hot side and we're actually just going to let this be open and let air escape from the system, okay? While your tank is filling up, you want to release some pressure. Just go to the TMP and just pop it open. You can hear that, that air coming out and then the water is just going to start coming a little faster. So you do that once in a while and it's going to help out just getting this to fill quicker. Okay, so now you can see that all the air is getting blown out of the line. It is getting very close to water. Okay, once that's ready, then we can go ahead and start heating the water back up. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That was good timing, Jet. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna pop this relief valve one more time. I'm gonna show you there's water coming out. Yeah, we're ready to rock. It's good, it still, and it's good, it still seals up. And so no issue. And now we've got this bad boy in there, which is awesome. And we don't have this. I wish more manufacturers actually went with this full port style of valve, right? Something that you can actually just see the whole way through and makes it so much easier to clean out than this style right here. Cause if you look at this right here, you actually got to go up and over that little hump right there to get into here. This is not really a good setup. It was a little bit of a bugger to get out, but it was so worth replacing it, right? Especially for somebody that drains their water heater every year, going with this is going to be a great option. All right, and so the last thing we do after we've got the water heater all put back together, the water's full, we've tested everything, everything looks good, there's no leaks. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna switch this from pilot and we're gonna turn it up to where they had it, up to A, okay? kick it on it's good to rock and roll excellent okay folks so we're good to rock and roll that valve is put in not as easy as what we thought it would be today was it jet no okay but we got a cool new tool this is a self-adjusting pipe wrench and an abs cheater bar this totally helped us out today without this i don't know that we were going to get it because it was a little tough to tackle but we've got it done and I have to give a big shout out to my partner, Jet, today. He actually helped me shoot video. He helped me do the lighting. You want to come say hi? Hi. 
So Jet learned a few things today. He also helped go ahead and empty out all the air whenever we turn the system back on. So thank you very much, Jet. I really, it was awesome. And I, we really hope you guys enjoy the video. If you could please subscribe to the channel, click the like button, we'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much, and we'll see you again real soon.